Crash test dummies come in all shapes and sizes. They may look human, but they're actually guinea pigs for a wide range of impact tests. How do they make dummies whose form and structure mimic the human body? Here's our version of Crash Test Dummies for Dummies. Crash Test Dummies are designed to take some serious hits. Automakers use the crash data that they provide to build safer cars, vans and trucks. A dummy's anatomy is pretty simple. There's a metal skeleton made of steel and aluminum bones. Those bones contain load cells, electronic devices that measure crash force. On the outside, the dummy's skin consists of a vinyl covering. To make the load cells, a milling machine shapes steel bars using a solid carbide end mill. Lubricant cools the intense heat and washes away the metal particles. Using a precision tool called a dial indicator, they verify the load cell's dimensions to within five one hundredths of a millimeter. They install the strain gauge, the component within the load cell that measures crash force. The hair width wires that connect the strain gauges are so delicate that soldering them requires a microscope. The vertebra in the dummy's neck also contains a load cell. The strain gauge they solder inside it measures not just lateral and vertical forces, but also twist or torsional force. Now they lay out the bones and corresponding load cells that will be connected to the dummy's rib cage. To make the rib cage, steel bands are bonded to a flexible damping material. This material was originally designed to deaden sound in nuclear submarines. In a test crash, these dummy ribs compress the same way human ribs do. A technician bolts the entire rib assembly to the spinal column and covers it with a plastic chest plate called a bib. The long bones and load cell forms are inserted into aluminum molds. Then workers bolt the molds shut and pour in liquid vinyl. The molds bake at 170 degrees Celsius for 10 to 20 minutes. When they come out, the first step is to cut away flash, the excess vinyl that oozed out of the mold during the baking process. Then a technician visually inspects the components to ensure an accurate fit. This is no ordinary vinyl. It's specially designed to resemble human flesh in consistency and density. This gives researchers realistic crash data. Now they install the bones, starting with this tibia, into their respective vinyl compartments. Zippers allow the engineers to remove the components easily after performing a crash test. The technician bolts all the dummy joints in place and ensures they have a human-like range of motion. Using a neck compression tool, a technician lines up a load sensor with the neck vertebra and fastens the completed neck assembly to the dummy head. Next up is the dummy's upper body. He bolts the thorax onto the pelvis the head and neck assembly onto the thorax, then fits a vinyl jacket over the chest. Finally, he bolts on the limbs, containing all of those long bones and load sensors. Crash test dummies range in size from newborns all the way up to 102 kilogram adults. This enables researchers to be sure that seat belts and airbags protect everyone equally well. It took a full 12 weeks to make this dummy, and now he's ready for a life of hard knocks to make traveling safer for all of us.